Hello there and welcome to another SOS reading. I hope you're doing well. And before we get into your SOS messages, I wanted to find out how spirit is currently helping you right now in your situation here. You know, I, yes, yes. Spirit is helping you really maintain a, a sense of healthy balance with yourself and others. Um, you may have been experiencing, you know, more self-love, okay? That's what you want to do. It's not uh, selfish to give to yourself because there is something about you experiencing new love. Maybe a new person has already stirred some romantic feelings or maybe someone is about to. Now, you don't necessarily need to take the romantic feelings if you don't feel that that resonates with you, but there may be an option here to have a profound love in your life, whether it's a friend, a family member, you know, someone new, someone old, someone transform, who knows? Either way, it's going to be brand new. So take care of yourself, honor yourself. There is something that you're being guided to um, stay away from or, you know, to have closure or to give yourself closure. Someone has been or is wearing a, uh, what does that say? False self mask in this relationship. I get seven of swords here. So I get water sign and air sign and actually earth sign coming through. So cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, air, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take those how you want to. Don't worry if you don't care about it. But yeah, there is something that has gone on. Either you had to put a mask on or it came to a point that you had to or somebody else was that you were feeling, uh-uh, it's just not enough. I even sense Ace of Cups and Eight of Cups coming through here. You're loving yourself enough and have been, or you're on this path to loving yourself enough to attract people or a person, resources, situation, where we feel a lot more balance, right? Where we don't feel something is being taken. I get like seven of swords. I think I said that, I don't know if I did, but I feel that this is also a card of theft, right? So if someone's being deceptive, you know, they're stealing feelings. Isn't that kind of funny how that came out? Stealing feelings. Hmm. But the good thing about that is you can um, <laughs> manifest. Yeah, there, there is something about manufactured feelings here, right? Something was artificial or you sent something here. But anyhow, you are able and capable of harnessing more than enough love, right? So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about this anymore, right? Just know that you're more than capable of filling up your own well of love inside of you. And there's going to be, if not yet, an opportunity to fill an overflow of love between you and another. But I will say this. It may challenge some of you, not all of you, to... Um, you know, be vulnerable, because that could be a scary thing, <laughs> especially because we've gone through something where it was just off, or it, 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 you know, perhaps for some of you, maybe perhaps in the beginning it just wasn't like this, but something went, you know, something carried on here where there was either not enough attraction or chemistry, something just was off to keep something going. So I would say, for those viewers, because not all of you are sitting with this right now, but if you're sitting with something where you're questioning whether something is enough or not, the fact that you have to question that might be the answer. So the answer is going to come from inside, and that's when you, you know, take the time out to replenish your own well, right? Taking good care of yourself even if you have to schedule it in, because things can really, you know, throw you off balance, especially because something already had thrown you off balance. So we're like wibbling and wobbling, trying to get our footing back. And here you've done a wonderful job 
or you're doing a great job, continue to do so. A reward of fulfillment is on the way here. So pay attention to, not just about people, but I would say pay attention to the things that you do love or value right now and how it's giving back to you. And just concentrate on that because what you're doing is you're just concentrating on the energy to fill up, again, your own well, your heart, right? Especially when you've had to endure heartbreak, whether we've had to do it on someone or someone has done this to us or both, whatever. Let's continue. Oh, this is how spirit's helping you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, spirit's helping you get a lot of balance here and closure and a new beginning. So let's find out what your SOS messages are and you know what spirit wants you to know when it comes to your current situation. Are these upside down? Oh my gosh, okay. I'm just gonna, I wanna look at these. Well, that one was upside down. I thought I've checked these. Uh, obviously one, went, one was upside down, but um, I'm gonna take it that way. I like it actually. It's a revelation. It's something coming um, clear or true here because this shadow card, the trials and tribulations, is closely associated with the moon card in tarot. Um, and that card is also associated with Pisces. Um, anyhow, we've got the shadow, trials and tribulations. Now, you might be at the end tail of this, right? So you've had to go through the water, and I'm sure it wasn't fun, right? Because it's dark here. So just imagine yourself as that crawfish here. And then we've got to go past two of these you know, what is it, wolf, the wolves, wolf guardians here, and we don't know if we're going to get gobbled up, or can we trust it? Mm. So that can cause, you know, unnecessary fears or the imagination to run wild here. I, you know, <laughs> and I don't want to make you feel like it's scary, because you're not going to get gobbled up, by the way, um, if anything you know, you are uh, coming into gobbling up this, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So we have limitless prosperity, the altar of earth, something strong and secure. Um, that would be a great investment, I would say, to continue to nurture. If something has made itself available, just nurture that. Because it is getting you out of some hard times or a time of where there was too much hidden from you you know, either in the spiritual realm, but yes, maybe there's been secrets here or too much hidden from you from another. So all you can do is uh, trust in your own vision. Don't, don't let yourself get too carried away. Just know that you're coming out of some type of period where, you know, all you could do is just hang on to hope and faith but a reward is here. Your you know, return for getting back and comfortable in your own skin here is prosperity. And to have something that can uh, really make you feel secure too. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming through with the altar of earth. This is Ace of Pentacles, what else? I was just talking about Closure. We we're what I yes, we were talking about closure because here we got the ancestral force. This is the card of completion. This is closely associated with the world card. The world card and the ancestral force are one here. So yes, you've got ancestors that are really um, proud of you first and foremost. They know that there has been some challenge and struggles here because there may have been things that you have noticed within family line or within yourself or others where we've seen patterns and cycles that just aren't in harmony with something that you already know to be authentic and true for yourself. And so your ancestors, this ancestral force is giving you extra, extra protection. And that you can also have confidence in stepping into a new experience Make sure, though, that you're taking time, you know, to really celebrate yourself. Make a, a day 
or maybe an hour to have a special moment to mark a ceremony or a reward for yourself of completing something here. With this ancestral force, it makes a lot of sense with this altar of earth because we, we've finished a journey here. <laughs> so something has, you know, it's like, while you've been in that, that journey, something has been forming here. Your love has been forming into some type of golden opportunity. So this is love, healing manifested in tangible form. You may even have um, you may even have a mystery, uh, or maybe an unexpected um, windfall here of some type. It's definitely going to be a resource. And then the fact that that shadow card, the moon card, was upside down, uh, means that we're seeing very clearly. And you know, we we're talking about you're you're at the end, right? So you went through. You know, that crawfish was swimming and swimming, and now you're at that path. So here you are. You're, you're at this sacred beginning. So don't fear anything. Just take your time. You know, slow and steady. Let yourself get used to things as well. Because you've ripped away or purified something that was false. What else? Wow. Yes, we got some really good cards here. There's a lot favoring you with good fortune, maybe even some fame in some way, shape, or form. But most importantly, we're victorious here because we are going into the right direction and we're stabilizing some type of great success and good fortune in one's life and being able to run with it. So I am seeing something here that is really solid that Spirit is saying, you do have uh, this royal uh, and regal bloodline in you. It's in your soul, okay? Whether it's bloodline or your soul, this is this is the reward here. So you're you're embarking, or have embarked, on a on a path here that your ancestors, the ancient ones, haven't been able to do. And this is why they're so proud of you. So if a, do, if a new direction has presented itself or if you've been going into a new direction, just know that even if there are a little bit of obstacles or whatever obstacles, you're meant to be victorious and unstoppable. We have cancer coming through with the monarch now, there may be something significant with, you know, maybe a, a fancy vehicle, truck, or something how you're riding in life or traveling in life. Either way, I want you to just look at this regalness that is coming through here. It was always meant to be. This is you. All right, let's see. What else? We have the Huntress Soul Awakening. If you've been putting off decisions, um, you know, don't put them off any longer. You know, take care of it. So take that if it resonates. But we are awakening to a higher power, a new lease on life, new options, new possibilities. We've awakened from something here that maybe we didn't even know was false. Now, perhaps, perhaps it's not about being false. Perhaps it's about evolving, changing, right? Growing out of a situation. Don't feel bad. Feel blessed. There's no better time, though, right now than to wake up and powerfully make, you know, even the smallest day-to-day -day decisions right now that lead to freedom, health, happiness, whatever you can. But there has been something here awakening, <laughs> this calling within you, and a calling here 
of how worthy and deserving you are of love, of prosperity. I mean, look at this limitless prosperity. It's like you are bringing something, the ancient ones are bringing something from past lifetimes here. Something is already going to be familiar. Whatever you're attracting has some familiarity to it because you called it, because you weren't sleepwalking here. Pat yourself on the back. I'm proud of you. What else? The soul um, awakening, this huntress, is the judgment card. Radical truth. See, a breakthrough. You know what? If there has been an obstacle or if any obstacles get in your way, it, it <laughs> watch out. That's all I have to say. Heaven is making sure that nothing stops you or impedes your progress towards authenticity, truth, maybe even a, a radical shift here. So there's something more powerful that's presenting itself. Look at this card of deception and, and, and unrequited love. And here we've got Father God bringing something true to the mind, to your heart, to your spirit, and possibly, possibly someone here too that is awakening with you. You're not the only one. You just may not know who, what, when, or where. I want more too with this Father God card, Radical Truth. Heaven has called you. You may even feel like a chosen one. And what I mean by a chosen one is because you are choosing not to sleep. You're choosing to wake up to things here that you know you can't explain <laughs> because it's a powerful force. Let's get more with this Father God radical truth. peacemaker. We got persistent patience. The radical truth is, is you're right where you need to be. Give yourself some time, slow and steady. Try to go at a leisurely pace with all things right now. Don't be aggressive or perhaps you're tempering areas where we have been aggressive or too submissive right? Because this is about balance. This is associated with temperance, which is also associated with uh, Sagittarius. But you may need to have persistent patience, right, with yourself and others, right? Because just because, you know, one thing I want to uh, point out, uh, you know, take it if it resonates, but there may be something, even if you know to be right or something is right here, it's not about having to prove anything. The proof is just you. You're the walking proof here you will or have arrived. <laughs> so if you start noticing, and I know you already do, signs or things that really speak to you, that's how, you, that's how the universe is communicating to you. That's how God, Jesus, the heavens, whatever you believe in, your higher self, ancient ones, whatever, that's how they're talking to you. There's so many components right now that's happening too. So um, something is being formed as well and you don't need to push or force yourself or anything right now. You want to use moderation, definitely. And I do feel that's what you've been really working on and mastering. This is why it's forming into some type of golden fortune here. You know, it's like this uh, um, also, mm, it, it, you know, there there is possibly a win-win situation here. You know, if there is something going on for some of you, because it may not resonate for all of you, but there may be this win-win situation where uh, something or someone may come back, where we find reconciliation, right? Whether, you know, you merge or uh, we part ways or whatever. But I do see something that is happening with you where you are meant to stand apart from others. You're, you're meant to shine, right? You're, you're meant to 
like when I says like being apart from others, it's not to put you on a pedestal and, and, and feed the ego, right? <laughs> we all have to temper that ego too. But I am saying there is something sacred and special. And you may need to do something solo here. And that's, that is definitely okay. You are meant to stand out of the crowd for a reason. Even your looks. I mean, you've got something about your looks. Mystical. Um, it does, you know, you have this look or this uh, energy about you that speaks or commands something wise. This is the time now to invest in yourself and invest in those things and those ideas and those people, you know, that you see share the same values or vision. And if it means you're having to hold it by yourself for the uh, time being, then just hold it by yourself. Know that heaven is helping you. God is helping you. You got angels and spirit guides all over the place. What else? You've been, um, Spirit is saying you've been too hard on yourself. Peacemaker, make peace with yourself. You've been too hard on yourself. Take it easy. Balance yourself here. And a lot of you, you are in this place of really opening up to creative expression, uh, love, intimacy, being vulnerable in just the right way in the right situations with the right people because you're not going to bury yourself in some type of darkness or, you know, um, heaviness because it takes a lot of effort to close down, if you think about it. To shield yourself off all the time really takes a lot of energy. You own power. You own protection. You own divinity here. You own something. So feel free to glide. Feel free to wonder. Feel free to fall in love with anything and anyone right now. <laughs> you know what I mean. That's healthy and good for you. There could be something about poems, writing. We could be really expressive when it comes to dating or having quality connection or connections. But most importantly, you found a different path here. And this is what I think is so beautiful is that you found another path. Maybe this whole time you thought you were just a fish swimming in the water. See, and now you see, see crawfish. <laughs> you come out of the water, you realize, damn, I got wings. And you're flying above the above the water here. Oh, you've done a tremendous amount here when it came to some type of um, not just a soul waking awakening, like a spiritual rebirth as well. And yes, stay hopeful when it comes to your love life. My goodness, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, or they will. <laughs> they will. This is associated with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, this is just more about balance and harmony, right? So, you know, allow yourself to, you know, utilize logic, but also ride with your intuition, ride with your heart. Because there is, there, there is you know, facts coming out, truth coming out. <laughs> What else? The other thing I see um, happening to you, maybe it already is, is that you know so something with like um, vision. Yes, your inner vision, your third eye. But I'm I'm seeing more physical, with your physical eyes getting better, or maybe something like. Uh, you know, when you have like a spiritual awakening or some type of awakening, uh, things will, like colors will be a lot more vibrant. So just kind of notice those subtle things. Also, 
I would say too, I just want to put this out there, you know, honor your emotions and your sensitivities. If you need a little time out for yourself to kind of, you know, um, purify, uh, you know, or cry, scream or whatever, do it, right? Do it. Cause I guarantee you the next day, it's, it's maybe, maybe after, but usually it's the next day you're going to feel a lot better. You might feel a little tired, but you're going to feel like a weight lifted off of you. So give yourself that time. That's also giving yourself, you know, love, right? So taking that time to replenish your well, because this is what, this is what's important is that you, you have found something out too, or you're finding something where you're not having to seek this love or something or fulfillment through someone, and if they stole some feelings here, your heart or whatever, your heart heals, your heart um, expands, and you have an infinite, um, you know, well of love here that's coming from heaven. This is why in those hopeless moments or those dark times, something or somehow something wakes you up. I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Look at this. I'm telling you, this is you. And I was saying something about even if you have to schedule these times and these moments, do it. And I would just say, try to pay attention to, you know, those, those moments like you, just for example, let's say you want to go take a walk, do your nature walk or, or do whatever it is, maybe sit with your tea or your coffee or whatever in your time of meditation. But then all these other things in daily life get in the way. Try to see if you put that towards the end. Like, oh, no, no, I got to do this first. I got to do this first. No, do you first, then do those other things. And perhaps a lot of you are already doing that, right? This is just confirmation that miracles are natural for you because you're mastering something here when it comes to really being able to co-create with spirit, with the heavens, but also knowing when to back down, surrender, allow, and just enjoy. Miracles are natural for you. <laughs> You don't know how, you don't know when, but boom, it just appears here. <laughs> okay, what else? The con, I, I, you know what, I knew it. I just knew magician energy was here anyhow. Yes, the conjure woman here, manifestation. Manifesting a vision. You're almost, you're like halfway there. Seriously, you're halfway there. <laughs> and who knows? You may just take off and have a sprint towards the end here. But yes, you're manifesting something b new, positive. But, you, but while we've got this manifestation card, the magician card here, be careful of things that could be taking your source of power. And I want you to think of your own self, your body as that source of power plugged into the divine. And when we, when we let or allow too much leakage here with wrong energy <laughs> or unwanted energy, we start to lose our power to manifest and to be available for the awareness between you and spirit. Because right now it is about just appreciating and paying attention to who and what you have, the resources that you have available right now. And I really sense like even Ace of Swords coming through where there may even be a brilliant solution or idea, you know, and that when you get it, move with it. My kitten Lenny is crying at the door. Maybe he, see, he's crying at the door. Let me in, let me in, let me in. We'll see if he cries again. Let's continue and see what else for you. Mm, it is going to be your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Someone, okay. I, <laughs> 
it's just a random thing I'm going to put out there. It just landed on the, you know, it landed on the monarch, which is the chariot. Someone definitely could be um, some type of superstar. <laughs> no. I feel that you're a superstar. Anyhow, you're the, a superstar in the making. Um, but anyhow, someone that may, you know, just exude a lot of confidence, magnetism. They could be into cars or something like that or be into traveling here. Um, yeah, you could be assured that something has happened in here where you, you need to trust that this is a soulmate of yours. <laughs> A new person has stirred your feelings. So let's get a little bit more information about this soulmate, please. This one. What does a viewer need to know when it comes to this soulmate? I'm also noticing the color green is popping out to me. So I do feel, you know, green is associated with the heart chakra, also associated with Archangel Raphael. So there's a lot going on with... Um, uh, healing with the heart, but also opening the heart because opening the heart also heals. Because see, the thing is, is that your, it's like your heart has expanded. <laughs> okay. It's expanded. So it's just not enough over here. The cup is too small for what you truly deserve. Let's get more about the soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Open up, open up. <laughs> Energy flows where I, my intention goes. This is manifestation, you know. Manifest, manifesting a partner, manifesting a good friend. I mean, whatever soulmate you need in your life, you're manifesting this. Just have confidence. And also, you could be with them right now. But, I'll, you know, pay attention to where your energy is flowing. We were just talking about that. Don't let it leak over here. Right, because this may still be at play, you know. It's because I feel like as soon as we get all the way cleared through this this um, circle, this wreath, it's like the ancestors just want to close it on up. <laughs> Don't let that energy in. But energy flows where my intention goes. This is really key when you're talking about manifesting. So whether it's just manifesting peace, you know. Focus on peace. If you want to manifest just seeing a lot of beauty in life, notice all the beauty that you already see in life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know, fill in the blank. I'm also sensing eight of pentacles coming through with my mind's eye here too. So there is something that's paying off when, you know, when it causes you, well, you have been doing this, but it's like, you know, there's been a cause for something. The most important thing is that you're ma mastering and learning something about your own craft. What else? Mother of fire, shine and rise. I think this is really perfect, especially because we've had the soul awakening, okay? We've gone through something here, you know? It could even feel like a, a day of reckoning, and it doesn't feel good. But the most important thing, and not, not all of you, but some of you, doesn't feel good either way. I know it's been a little, it's been challenging. Either way, though, this is the time that you are to shine and rise and to feel good about those things that you want to nurture, that you feel passionate about. And there is a lot of fertility here as well. So, you know, not only do we have someone exuding a lot of confidence, but they're also offering a lot of confidence, inspiration, uh, positive desires into those that they are surrounding or nurturing. The, the trick with this, though, is to not care what anyone thinks or to not, especially not to compare yourself either. Just know that that's a trap as well. You know, comparing yourself, we, could, we all do it at times, but don't get too stuck in that. <laughs> Again, do I need to remind you? Well, yes, I do, that you... There's something about you that sets you apart. It's meant that's that's just the way it is. 
It's almost like how do you how else is your soul mate and your soul family going to recognize you? They can't recognize you if, you know, you're wearing a mask here, <laughs> right? Not saying that you are, but I'm just saying a situation that you already know to be not so good or some type of falseness. We have the Queen of Wands here, so yeah, we have someone that may be um, showing up on your path that they haven't already that's going to really support you um, to help build you up as well. So this is going to be someone that's not going to see the small part of you. They're not going to give in to, um, you know, weakness of any type. But I do see you exuding a lot of charisma, attractiveness, and it's like you you have harnessed or learning to harness this force and this power and utilizing it in great ways here that not only benefit you, but benefits others as well. What else? Nine of wands. I'm just going to show you something too. Energy flows where my intention goes. And when the nine of wands came out, I went back to the mother of fire because the nine of wands, he's got a telescope. You know, he's persevering. He's staying strong where he needs to stay strong. We're remaining vigilant where they need, where he needs, he or she, this is you remaining vigilant, right? Because we're headed towards some type of completion here. Now look at the uh, mother of fire. Notice how she is focused again on what she wants to nurture. So yes, something is paying off here. Some of you too, you felt like you went through the fire here only to build yourself up bigger, more badass <laughs> and stronger. <laughs> All right. Um, I want more, too, with the Nine of Wands, please. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in with this Nine of Wands. Let's get more about this Nine of Wands. You know, the other thing I noticed, too, is like, he's like purposefully, you know, he's this person I feel has stepped purposefully into the uh, magician card here and if he has to for the time being just to get into that frequency he's going to use that telescope close his other eye not notice the other things but he's going to focus on exactly what he sees coming or what he knows to be good and true and maybe that's just what you got to do right now it doesn't mean you ignore everything but there is something that perhaps you do need to have strong boundaries about, and then keep strong and hold your vision here or hold something true that you know. I feel that you already see something coming here. Like you can either sense it, you see it, you feel something's going on. You're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations help bring you together. Oh my gosh, in the telescope, look at that. <laughs> what you seek is seeking you. Who you want wants you too. It's going, uh, it's going far beyond earthly matters and earthly life as well. You know, we got some kind of soul awakening. There's past life or, you know, memories that are coming from an unexp uh, unexplainable place. Now, we don't need to put importance on that, but we do need to know that you already know something to be true here. So what are you focused on? Well, your en energy flows where my intention goes. Your intention is going to prayers, affirmations, and visualizations of bringing you and who or what you want together. The secret component is going to be your need to Stay in control here. Okay, what else? We got speed and we got the fertile ground here. We, we may need to not go too fast though, but let 
do let truths and maybe, you know, the things that have worked in the past um, allow to be your compass at this time. But also there may be something that could be picking up speed here. And you could see maybe a plethora of abundant things here because I just see all this fertility with the mother of fire. And it's literally, we've got this, you know, um, all these components that are, you know, making and materializing new forms of abundance, goodness. <laughs> yes, we have creature of air, the speed and the fertile ground here. So I want to get a little bit more though with this creature of air, but I do feel that, you know, you may need to just watch your tendency to want to go fast. But if there is something that you know that you see clearly, go for it. Because I do get this thing where there may be at the end, you know, you come to this, um, you know, pathway here halfway and then you like sprint at the end here. Yeah. You're either sprinting towards someone or someone's sprinting towards you. Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> uh, all right. I want more with the creature of air. What's important for the viewer to know about the creature of air? Okay, what's going on here? Let's see. This one. It's gonna be okay, okay, okay. It's definitely that. <laughs> this is your soulmate. And also, you are doing something fantastic or you will achieve something fantastic that you can be damn proud of. I don't know. I'm just real passionate for you. Okay. So I've got, we got the father of earth. This is the um, counterpart to the mother of earth. So we both, we have the king and the queen here. This is king and queen of pentacles. We have generosity, fertile ground. My goodness. Momentum will pick up when it's necessary, but you could be assured of some type of lifestyle change or changes that are, um, you know, really in line with authentic authenticity or some type of truth and integrity. And the, this is what's important because when it's all, when it's based on that, you know, in integrity outlasts anything. This is why we're solid and good and secure. You've manifested things in your reality through the process of, you know, spiritual awakening, spiritual transformation, or just process, just maybe personal growth, you know, whatever you feel that you resonate with. But there's, there's definitely a person here and a sense of great balance. Someone know, who knows what they're doing and also who's very skilled. <laughs> I would also um, recommend, just take it if it resonates, I would just recommend to um, you know, to be careful of spending or just kind of watch out for that. You know, you right now it's not about, you know, hoarding or anything, but it's just about moderation. Remember, we're just going easy here. Not too fast, not too slow. Ooh. We could be formulating new business ideas or formulating, um, you know, something that's going to give you something that will be long lasting in the future here. So money is good. Stability is good. And we're feeling good about whoever we are <laughs> with. Okay. What else? It's true love because you found it inside of yourself. You found the well and the infinite supply within yourself and source here, and it has to manifest, and it is manifesting. This is a romance of a lifetime. I mean, we're talking about past life lifetimes. <laughs> Ooh. Now, for those, you know, <laughs> it's worth the investment because I can see this being something that... Um, would be hard to even break down if it ever does break down because this is very strong, secure, and stable here and very promising, right? Because what you nurture and what you give your intention or your energy is what thrives. So yes, this is a romance of a lifetime here. It's this lifetime. What else? 
Okay, that's it for those. So before we end, ooh, I just saw the 4444 when I was uh, just looking at the time. Anyhow, um, before we end the reading, end of the reading, let's find out what is a positive outcome that is nearing for you. A positive outcome that is nearing for you that heaven wants you to be aware of. Oh my gosh, yes. Altar of fire, this is Ace of Wands. You can be assured of some, some type of mir miraculous energy. Yes, because everything is a miracle here in life. You just gotta see it. You gotta have the right, you gotta have the eyes to see it, and I know you do. It's the, it's the eyes that can see the miracles and the divineness and even the most mundane or ugly situations. But anyhow, guess what you have to look forward to? Ace of Wands here, Passion Ignites. We have uh, a great opportunity too when it comes to more prosperity and abundance and peace. But you can't be assured that some type of Miraculous energy has formed into something tangible that you can hold. <laughs> and we got the good juju here. So we've taken some type of karmic energy and we did right with it. You turned it into something good and positive and fortunate for yourself. And that's what you're continuing to do. So some type of... Um, Direction, some type of uh, opening will make itself available. The only thing that you got to do is take it because it will feel a little risky, but it's going to be an excitement, exciting risky here. So fire sign is coming through with the altar of fire. This is, you know, a new beginning, and you've got... <laughs> You have all the right components here. And heaven is really looking out for you, your loved ones, and your possessions, and also your future possessions, because it is heaven sent. I hope that this was helpful for you. Love and light. Take care.